have you guys heard of someone or something in the Appalachian Mountains and Trails? Keep watching to find out. Hello, Horror Nights and family, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so, so happy you're here, and thank you so, so much for joining me today. And with that being said, let's get right into the video because we have a lot to cover. guys so in this video obviously you can tell from the title that we are going back into the woods so if you guys are a returning viewer or subscriber you know that we have talked about some strange things in the woods so i'm gonna link that video in the description box below if you guys want to take a look at that so lately i've been seeing a lot of activity on the line about the appalachian mountains and yes it is appalachian even though for 32 years of my life i'm pretty sure i said appalachian but it's appalachian so there you go you learn something new every day so before we get into the weird and strange activities on this trail and mountain here is a little geography lesson in case you need it so the appalachian mountains are a system of north american mountain ranges and these mountain ranges run from newfoundland and labrador canada in the north to alabama which is in the united states and alabama which is of course in the south of the united states the highest peak in this range is located in Mount Mitchell, which is in North Carolina. So the Appalachian Mountains first form roughly 480 million years ago. They once reached elevations similar to those of the Alps and the Rocky Mountains before experiencing natural erosion. The Appalachian chain is barrier to east-west travel as it forms a series of alternating ridge lines and valleys oriented in opposition to most highways and railroads. And this trail is one of the most famous hikes in the United States. So now that we did our geography lesson, I want to dive into some first-hand accounts about people who have hiked the trail. So according to the website onlyinyourstate.com, one chilling tale is of a hiker who, when camping on the trail in 2011 near Catoba, was startled awake in the middle of the night by footsteps and a low grumbling voice. Later that night, the same camper saw the figure of a man creep closer to his campsite in an attempt to take his firewood. And the hiker said that for a minute, the two of them locked eyes and the hiker noticed the man's ghostly white eyes and was completely shaken by this event. Later that night, the camper's tent mysteriously caught on fire, though luckily he was able to escape just in time. Another story from the same website said that in the 1980s, a man and his son were camping near the Appalachian Trail and saw something completely bizarre. Out of the wilderness came a human-like figure, but it wasn't actually human at all. The thing that came out of the woods was covered head to toe in fur, and it was very tall and gave off a very menacing vibe. With its long strides, then returned back to the forest, much like the mythical Bigfoot. And now I want to move on to something called the Brown Mountain Lights. These eerie ghost lights can be found above Brown Mountain, which is located in North Carolina. Eyewitness accounts of these strange lights date back all the way to 1913, where it is said that these lights appear as glowing orbs that hover in the sky above the mountains and then vanish. Sightings continued, and in 1922, the U.S. Geological Society investigated and determined that these brown mountain lights were really just passing cars and trains. But a major flood changed that theory. The raging waters washed out the roads and bridges and took out the power for several weeks. But the brown mountain lights were still spotted there in the sky. 
So next is the Mothman. Back in 1966, Point Pleasant, West Virginia was a sleepy town of a couple thousand people. But on November 12th, 1966, the town had an unidentifiable visitor. When gravediggers were at a cemetery in West Virginia, about 80 miles from Point Pleasant, said they saw a man with wings lift off from the tree and fly over their heads. Three days later, a young couple was driving near an abandoned World War II TNT plant about five miles north of Point Pleasant when they saw a large man flying above their heads with 10-foot wings and eyes that glowed red. They tried to flee this unidentifiable creature, speeding down the road at a reported 100 miles per hour, but the creature followed them back to the Point Pleasant city limits. In the next weeks, eight more sightings were reported, and in 1967, the silver bridge that connected Point Pleasant to Ohio was teeming with rush hour traffic, but the bridge collapsed killing 46 people, and some reported that they claimed to have seen the Mothman at the bridge shortly before its collapse and believed its presence was a sign of danger. So next up is the Bell Witch. So this story goes back to 1817 when the Bell family began hearing and feeling strange things in their home, which was located in Adams, Tennessee. They would hear knocking and scratching and it sounded as if chains were being dragged on the floor and their young daughters would be disturbed in their sleep by their blankets being ripped off. And they even claimed that they were being pinched in their sleep as well. The family didn't tell anybody about what was happening for fear of retaliation from others and from the church. But after months of torment, John Bell confided in one of his neighbors, and that was all it took for people to soon become interested in the farm and the paranormal activities that were going on. Over time, many people visited the farm, and some believed the hauntings, and some thought the bells made it all up. The haunting was believed to be the work of a witch, of a local woman named Kate Batts, and her purpose was to kill Father John Bell because she said he was a bad man. And when John Bell died on December 20th, Kate took credit for it, insisting that she poisoned him. The witch continued to haunt the family for many years after his death. And the real story behind the Bell Witch has never really been uncovered. So continuing with the ghostly and paranormal occurrences, next is the story of the Pierce Pond Ghost. It is said that one man was hiking along a Pierce Pond in Maine when he spotted a ghostly white figure walking along the pond who appeared as a fisherman. But as soon as the ghost appeared, it disappeared. The next night, the ghostly figure returned and this time made direct eye contact with the camper and the hiker quickly packed his things and left. So guys, there are so many stories that I found as I was doing my research for this video. And I actually included some of the links in the description box below if you guys want to take a look yourself. Also, as always, I encourage you guys to leave comments and stories down below of things that I might have not covered, things that you may have experienced yourself, maybe like a firsthand account. As I said in my previous videos, you guys are super smart. You always teach me things about stuff and these trails and these mountain things have always really fascinated me because I just feel like the woods in the United States are so vast and you really never know what's going on. I think that's why a lot of horror movies that we watch are based in the woods because you know, you have the trees and the forest and things like that as your protection. And there have just been so many stories that I've just been reading lately that have to do with the Appalachian trails and the mountains and people who live on these trails and the things that they see and the things that they hear and the things that they report. Just find it interesting. I also find those people extremely brave because as I said in my previous video when I was talking about forests that I really, I, I enjoy going hiking and things like that, but you know, the, the woods, they scare me. And I don't know if it's because I watched the Blair Witch Project when I was younger and it kind of just stuck with me and traumatized me. But either way, I always find these videos super fascinating and really interesting. And I feel like the you guys as viewers just have a lot of knowledge about these things too. So I encourage you just to leave your thoughts, comments, stories in the comments down below. All right, guys, we have guest spirit for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and thank you so, so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put new videos out every single 
single Wednesday and Saturday. Don't forget to turn the bell on to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And don't forget to follow me on my socials. Links to all that are in the description box below. And if there's anything that you guys want me to cover in an upcoming video, please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget just to be nice to one another and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.